Okay, recursion formula, 6.4. 6.4 recursion formulas. This particular section is the last section that I need to teach in Chapter 6. We leave this one to last because it makes more sense to have seen different formulas before we look at a recursion formula. It's kind of like a different, ver different form of finding an explicit formula. So, in example number one, we're asked to write the first four terms of each sequence. So, for our sequence is T1 is equal to 3, and Tn is equal to 2 times Tn minus 1 minus 5. So, in this case, what we have to do is find T1, and we use the to find the next term, we use the previous term uh, manipulated to find the next value. So T1 is equal to 3. T2, the second term, is equal to 2 times T1 minus 5. Well, we know what T1 is, that's 3. So 2 times 3 minus 5 will give us a value of 1. To find T3, that's equal to 2 times t2 minus 5 and that's equal to 2 times 1 minus 5 and that's negative 3. The next value to find t4 that's equal to 2 times t3 minus 5 and that gives us a value for t4 of negative 11. So when I ask you to write the first four terms of each sequence I want you to write a therefore. Therefore the sequence is 3, 1, negative 3, and negative 11. That's your sequence. All right, part B. You're asked to write the sequence in a different way. So you're given it as F1, F2, and Fn is a combination of the previous term and the second to last previous term. So, and so it's 2 times f of the previous term plus 3 times of the previous second previous term plus 1. So f1 we know, f2 we know. You're asked to find f3. Well f3 is equal to 2 times f2 plus 3 times f1 plus 1. So the value of f3 is 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times 3 plus 1. Turns out that the value here is 8. All right, let's look at the next example. Um, the reason why they're highlighted here is that remember that F2 matches with the value in F2 and F1 matches the value for F1. So yellow with yellow, red with red. We need to find f at 4, and that's equal to 2 times the previous term, f at 3, plus 3 times f at 2, plus 1. And you find out 2 times 8, plus 3 times negative 1, plus 1, is going to give you a value of 14. So the, the first sequence is 3, negative 1, 8, and 14. That is the first four terms of the sequence. Example number two. You're asked to determine a recursion formula for each of the following. So here, the first one, you have 3, 5, 8, 12. You need to figure out a formula that works with this. This is an application question. Turns out that T1 is 3. Tn is going to equal the previous term plus the actual term number. So again, the term value, the term value is equal to the previous term value plus the actual number that it's placed in. So T2 is equal to T1 plus 2. Let's do a quick check to see if that value works. Yes, it does. And turns out it's the right answer. T3, we check that one out. Turns out it's the right answer. And T4, we check that one out. And turns out that one's the right answer. 
So pretty sure that this is the right recursion formula for this example. And you should do a check just to make sure you've done this properly. All right, P last one for this. You're given the sequence 2, 2, 4, 12, 48, and so on. What is going on here? Well, term 1 is equal to 2, and this nth term, so any term value, is equal to the following equation. Why is that true? Well, you take 2, 2, okay, the second number, 2, is the same as the first number. So obviously it had to have been uh, uh, come back to the regular 2. The only possibility is if we took the previous term, which we know has to do with all, whenever you do recursion, it involves the previous term, there's our previous term, times, now what number was it? Well, it's 2 times 1 will give us 2. So 2 times 1, 1 is known as the term number, n, minus 1. So it's the previous term's position number. So t1 is equal to 1 times so is 2, sorry, t2 is equal to the previous position number times the previous number, value, and that's 2. t3 is equal to previous position number, which is 2, multiplied by the previous, position, previous actual number, which is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And again, you have to find the T4 value, and you're doing that to make sure that the answers are correct. They do match the original question. A strong urge is to make sure that you check your answers. Well, 2, 4, 2, 2, 4, 12, 48, looks like that is our formula, folks, for this question. Another way you could have written it is somebody could have written it this way. This is another way to express the exact same thing, and yes, I would mark that one correct as well. All right, that's all, folks. That's it for today. Have a good night.